Hi guys, Elite Gaming Entertainment here today for the first time in probably around four months. I know it's been a very long time since I've done any videos, any gameplays, absolutely anything to do with YouTube because uh, I was in a relationship, but I'm not going to go too much into that. But anyway, it was an experience. So today, as of the 15th of November, I am back and I am trying out the new hit game Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I wasn't really a big fan of the first one on PlayStation 3, but I've heard quite a lot of good stories, graphics-wise, gameplay, all that kind of stuff, and all the videos of people lassoing all kinds of characters and just doing very crazy things. So, that is what I am here to do today. So, I am going to cut the commentary here, and we are going to get straight into it. I have not even turn the game on yet as you can see I've just installed it so this is the first time launch so sit back relax and enjoy and I'll commentate as and when I feel I need to <laughs> see you in a bit then guys And also, just to add into the mix, I am currently playing this on the Xbox One X, which I hear is the best console to be playing this game on for graphics wise in native 4K. So I know that this video is recording in 1080p, uh, which is the high setting for my capture card, but I am able to see it in 4K native. So please bear with me, guys. The graphics may seem better, uh, well, definitely will be better to what the video is recording. So whilst I am waiting for this loading screen to hurry up I will cut the commentary here we go enjoy guys Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. 
If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Uh. Careful. 
careful over this bridge here. Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Iron shelter. Wait. Is that someone coming towards us? Oh. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Hey, anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all. Micah. Always. Ask him, John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up or over the rear. Oh. Hold. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. It kind only out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill, huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before. We got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Come on. Or 
Walker, take cover in that shed over there. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. There, over in the cattle shed. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks on the trail. We got a problem. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Just Arthur, need some There's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, but... Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. Over there! More of them! Too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, don't bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food. Medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on.
place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Still looking, Dutch. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done.
it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, boy. Still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Get away from me! Michael, <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you... Oh, you fool. Michael. Miss, now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. We weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, 
He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed, and... He'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... It seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. <laughs> Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there. Boy. Come on now. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's, let's see if he can hear us. Come on. 
Up there. He's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Grab your shotgun. Come on. It's slippery, be careful. Mierda, yeah, we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me! Drops down here. Watch yourself. Watch out here. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your stamp. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Dang, it's cold. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John, you there? John, where are you? John, can you hear me? John! Marston, you hear me? I'm here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Hey! He's down here! That was there! All right! Hot down, Marston! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Are uh, you dead? Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. for the horse. 
horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Hey, over here! Oh, that's an easy <laughs> We're getting you out of here. Keep them away from us! <laughs> some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. Got a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? Camped. Nearly there. Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh God. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost mate? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we... When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. 
But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. Then we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men as they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me.